Radiant team pick. Reserve time. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the best of five between KP, Kai P, Vega Squadron. This is game five. It's all on the line. Somebody's going home and someone's walking away with all that money. It's me, Sir Action Slacks, here with the smartest and brightest man in Dota. We got Purge. Pim Uncle. <laughs> and then we also got Pim Uncle. Best odds in Dota as well. We got the trifecta, the holy trinity of Dota 2. Here we are. We and to clarify the stakes again, this is uh, the WCA Grand Finals sponsored by Betway. And both of these teams are going to be going to the WCA tournament in China. But they, their ultimate placement here depends on how much prize money they get. First place gives you about $37,000 or 36000 I think. And second Woo! place gives you about uh, it's like thirteen or something. So uh, oh, am I wrong? Shit. It's like seventeen. I think it's like a difference of $17,000 or $13,000 or something like that between first and second. And, and we're basically on a $13,000 best of one right now, which is pretty exciting. That is pretty exciting stuff. Uh, did you just call this a best of one? God damn it, Purge. That is the I mean, worst thing. We, we have even call... up a 2-2. Two, two. No, you, ha I you, mean... you take away all the grandiose. What? The final game in the best of five. Don't but, call it a goddamn no, dude, best of one. It makes it, think about the, the difference though. It, it comes down to one gank can change everything. Like that, that's, that makes it more tense. Every mistake could be the mistake. Oh, or the play that wins you thirteen thousand oh, dollars as a team. Oh, jeez, you're right, Purge. I'm all hyped now. Okay, let's talk Think about, about the that picks. EG series. So it was just like that, dude. It's like, oh, oh my yeah. god, anybody that dies the wrong way, they they lose their knock. That, that's just all right. Take it either easy, way. Purge. Best of five is still great, even if it goes to like three or four <laughs> games. It, as long as the games are great and they have been great, the last like eight series in this tournament have all been fantastic, except for the one where Alliance disbanded and didn't show up. That one was a little <laughs> little bit of a downer, but that was a good um, one for me. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Alliance. Maybe that will let you do an interview with me sometime, huh? You fucks. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> They're actually great. Right. Okay, um, uh, let's talk about these band. picks. Meeple, Meeple Band. Band. Yeah. Um, uh, Kaipi had drafted it before. Um, actually, 3 3 played it, not Sing Sing. I watched the VOD uh, after the game, but something that they got to be a little bit scared about. It's maybe a little out of nowhere to see it banned there, but Kaipi going back to their bread and butter, which is Batrider, Juggernaut for Sing Sing, Oracle. I think this will be a, a good opening for them. Um, Oracle against Sanke Murana is amazing. Tons of anti-magic resistance and the ability to keep people alive. And they also grabbed, or by, by also having Oracle, they also prevented their opponents from getting it, which means that they don't have the Batrider counter. So it may force Vega into something like a Venge pick, but for sure they need something to protect against Batrider Lasso. Indeed, indeed. Uh, can I talk a little bit about Sand nope. King and Juggernaut? So Sand King is really <laughs> no, no, me. Go ahead. <laughs> Sand King and Juggernaut is a very interesting combo. They both play off each other really well. If you get ulted, you have your immediate escape, but he can also do his uh, Blade Fury on top of your Sand. If you can blow things up in lane, he can't farm very well. You got a great stun, and he can get easy ways to get his heal. But if he gets the jump on you... He counters you pretty good as well. It's all about who's the better player, in my opinion. What do you think, Birch? I actually agree with that. It's, it's pretty much like that. Caustic Finale makes it a little hard for Jug in lane, but there's always the threat that he goes offensive, Blade Fury, and then at least Force Sand King, can, uh, at least Force Sand King to Burrow Strike, and you can trade mana in that way. So I definitely agree. It's it's a bit of an interesting matchup, but lately, um, Sing has been playing it mid against Murana. Whenever their opponents go for a mid Murana, Jug is a decent solution because he can at least nuke the creep waves down rapidly and avoid uh, some ganks on the mid lane. But with SB being in the game, things are a little bit more iffy. Rogue Spin is on a very long cooldown, so if he ever does use it to farm, it's a good time for FNG to rotate in with SB and get a gank off. Huh. All right. Well, Spirit Breaker is going to be picked up here, and this is going to blow your mind when they pick Lifestealer and do the Spirit Breaker combo here. I mean, yeah, there's like no way they pick Lifestealer this game. There's so many good counters. <laughs> what are you talking about? Juggernaut man? counters Lifestealer in a 1v1 mm -hmm. if you can't infest. Batrider okay. counters him because he can lasso through Rage. Elder Titan's ultimate goes through it. Okay. And he can easily Echo Stomp afterwards. Oracle can basically ulti whoever he goes on and generally save him. Okay. Really not a good Lifestealer. Okay. But they might still pick it. Counterpoint when they pick it. 
coming up next. <laughs> Elder Titan, okay. such a good pickup there with the Bat Rider. A lot of synergy there, Perch. You put asleep the whole team. Bat Rider goes in, picks out the VIP, and then he's done. I mean, pretty good right. stuff. I thought here. you were gonna make the point that Bat Rider goes and steals somebody. Elder Titan puts them all to sleep, but the fire wakes them all up instantly. No, no, definitely not that. You don't. He well, doesn't put the fire on. Three three's Bat Rider was pretty amazing earlier today when he played it. So hopefully we see a similar performance. But the the amount of disables that Vega have are really scary for. Oracle's not in a position. If Juggernaut doesn't get a spin off, it can really lead to a lot of deaths for Kaipis. I'd be worried about that right now. I'm not um, worried about it. Bambo going to play Elder Titan almost for sure. Uh, Pilot Eye will play Oracle. So they're really just waiting for their Bone 7 hero. And that is a hard hero. That's a very difficult hero to predict. Um, definitely not going to be Tinker this game, I think, due to S Beamer on a Sand King. So I got Blink on Sand King. I could just kill him repeatedly. Um, maybe something BKB focused, possibly a terrible. They do end up grabbing oh, the bench no. for the oh, back no. counter. <laughs> Decent choice. Decent they're a, choice. They're we weak on physical there. Oh god. You think it's gonna be carry? Carry bench? Mm, maybe. A, oh yeah, I guess it is. Well, no, it's offlane, sanking, spirit breaker, support, bench support. It could be a support, could be carry. That's we one nice thing about the order they drafted. But I has to pick their last hero first, so Kaipi should get the ultimate reaction. They get a ban though. Um, probably something physical based. I'm thinking maybe I would I would have maybe banned terribly, but Spectre is also a good option. Uh, Vega could definitely pick TB. It would be really effective. Actually. Oh boy. Okay. Last ban coming out here. Who would mess up Vega Squadron the most? Well, it's a pretty easy choice. Uh, definitely gonna be banning out the uh, the Omni Knight. Absolutely. Great repel against Sand King. Easy recovery from a Marana Arrow. Okay, Protects so against Spirit Breaker. And, so they're, uh, they're just going to be all in on Juggernaut Carry, who's notoriously one of the carries that's strong, but able to be beaten making. <laughs> Shut up! Okay, saying? Bars! Alright, so I'm not good at this! Okay? Animate! Okay, they go Animate instead. Good! A little safer. Uh, more <laughs> offensive potential. Very similar thing. Very effective against Jug. Batrider has trouble killing him. It's a lot safer than TB. That's Either hero could have worked. Mm -hmm. AM's definitely better though. Okay, let's see. K Kaipi, who we got here? Who would really need damage? Remaining. Need damage. Tinker would have been good for that, and that's part of the reason they banned it. It would have been much better against AM than your typical mid heroes. Check this out. Easy Ursa game, dude. Um, yeah, not against this many stuns. Okay. There's okay. Literally four stuns on Vega's side. They need something that is BKB similar. Um, it's possible they could do something like life stealer but i think it would be really weak especially because they're only in uh, initiation is really bat rider okay um God, they have to pick like a team fight carry or something that has bkb, BKB would be luna ish fight. but oh. it's not a luna against am is bad they wouldn't have enough control oh jeez okay hold on i'm good enough to predict this give me one sec team Naga fight siren maybe uh, maybe no, it's not, not terrible. Not well, bad, the radiance with Elder Titan's bad. That's kind of weird. Oh, I got it, dude. Check this shit out. Bloodseeker. Slardar, bro. Slardar. The care potential is way too weak. Okay, okay, okay. Terrorblade. Um, I... It's... There's too many stuns. I think that's okay, dangerous. Okay, okay. Uh, techies! <laughs> I'm out of ideas. That's I don't know. Right. It's fed. Okay, That's great. Team by hero Perfect. with a lot of damage and control. Okay, yeah, And, yep, and he's not he's not as weak to stuns often by his BKB. God, Does enough physical God. damage that he can deal he can deal with anti mage. He can clear the illusions too. Great choice. <laughs> great choice by Kite. Is the last game best so of one for fourteen K? You are? No, you are. 14k. It's... Here we go, ladies. <laughs> Shut up, Perch. Sven is going to be picked out. That does a lot of damage. And here we go. 14k on the line. Could be if they win. 30-something k. This is it. Your best of one, as Perch calls it. Your last of the best of five. The final result, as I call it. Here we go. KP, Kai P versus Vega Voga Squadron. Perch, Pimp, Slacks. Let's get it up with Sven. Just pick your hero right now, so it's not awkward. <laughs> I the swear. timing was almost good. They're just they're just taking this. God time, damn it! Please. <laughs> Strategizing for the game, they got to talk about starting items. They got to talk about lots of stuff. <gasps> Who would have believed that these two teams could come together? Sing Sing doing so great. FN doing. I had him. <laughs> oh, perfect. We made it. <laughs> A beautiful transition here. No. Okay, perfect. Here we go. The action starts. I do love these high MMR games where these guys just instantly TP put down their wards. 
it's so good. I mean, they just know what they're doing. Yeah. Oh, can Pilot Eye get his ward down in time? This is kind of a dangerous way to do this. He didn't smoke himself, so there's a high chance that he just runs into opponents. No, he's but he's he fine. He actually doesn't. He puts a ward there. It's going to be spotted. His leave. So we'll see if they de ward. It's a high chance. Oh no. That was no. real easy. Oh, we'll give that no. to their mid hero just to get his bottle a little bit faster. And the just turtle some... watches. You see this little turtle? He sees it all. He's, uh, he's upset. He feels bad for that ward. That's I'm part draw. of the. I mean, what Pi did there was basically he wanted to walk to the high ground, make sure there was nobody there to spot him. But then when he places the ward, he's he took longer. He could have uh, dropped it and gotten out faster. All of that gives you information to deward in, and now it's going to be even so easier to land arrows on the mid lane. <laughs> How many people do you think that turtle has seen die? How twisted do you think his a, psyche a must be? Question. Millions, billions, most likely. That turtle has witnessed death. I mean, that's a high impact spot right there. That turtle seen oh, more shit than any of us. I think he's actually roaming the gank right now. He's oh shit heading Watch to the out. jungle. Here it comes. <laughs> Here comes the turtle. Huge gank on uh what I believe to be koi fish in trouble. Watch out! Here we go. The action is all oh, koi fish going in. It's a two man gank. <laughs> You're not gonna get that cast. He's hiding else. the tree actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. There's some League of Legends shit. He's up in the bushes. The There's nothing right, else anyway. to look at, and is that what you mean? Right. That No, we're fine. Oh, damn. All right. No fight again. I do miss it when they used to fight over wards, but wait a second. Mag is kind of in the middle of nowhere. They're going to put down another ward there, the backup ward. I wonder if Mag's It, it does block the camp. He's trying to prevent Mag from getting easy levels, but... They're just gonna again rotate for sentry dewarding. We'll see if they guess the right side though. Oh. They didn't see exactly where Bambo placed it. I don't think. Place your betways. Here we go. No. Oh, yeah, go check out betway. <laughs> Real money uh, betting site. It's legal in only a few countries, but you guys can check it out because it's fully licensed. Free yep. five euro deposit. Use the links down below. Let's talk about the game. Hey. Thank here you, we go. Uh, so sent wrong about... with the sentry. He who went on the cliff to try to spot that one, but it was actually a ward block. So. Which is slightly counterintuitive. Bambo should have been able to predict SK Whoa, plus SV. Look at Big Dick and Bambo. He just walks right up to her and stomps her and walks away. You, that's what I'm talking about. I don't even know why that's relevant, but it really is. I, it is relevant. What are you talking about? Let's move on. Okay. No, Dual lane, made... off lane, blocking the camp <laughs> Wait, is a little what? bit iffy, but... <laughs> Try lane up at the top. <laughs> Looking good. That's or dual, dual lanes lane. again. <laughs> Sorry. That's why blocking the camp is a little iffy because SB is very often dual lane to give the offlaner a bit more space just by having a tanky SB there. You always have to worry about that threat of trading HP. Uh oh, bot lane, we got an initiation here on Seema. Seema's gonna try to TP out, but will the stop come next? It sure will. Ooh, Easy first blood. Woo. And it goes with Batrider, that's huge. 600 yeah. gold from right at the start of this. Could be fast tranquil boots to guarantee that he's good in lane. Rambo will continue to harass here. Possibly doing a stomp. Yeah, that Plus is actually. Boot. Woo, that is so bad. I mean, Batrider is able to do whatever he wants now. That's a quick blink and a blink of an eye, well, my friend. It's not done yet, I mean. That's, it's, it's, done, it's 400 it's gold, but I mean. That's first blink. Game's over. Call GG. It's time. GG, dude. Batrider's huge. Look at Bambo. I've never seen a man give less of a fuck about his own life or anything. He literally doesn't care. He's going to get okay, jumped on. He's going to care on. this time. No, he's fine. He don't give a hoot. Hoot, hoot. He out. Where are my owls at? <laughs> <laughs> sure, they're all watching. They, they were probably too stupid to not refresh the stream. Don't do that, guys. It'll twitch. All right. There we go. Uh, so, who's winning what, Purge? Well, it's looking okay for Kaipi right now. Obviously, the first blood's huge. Um, if you look at the last hits in the offlane, or more importantly, the levels. You're a level hockey. I did it. SB is still two. Um, Sand King's up to three. He's having a great time. Uh, Pilot Eye also two. So, it's going all right for Kaipi in the, in the offlane in the mid lane. That's the important one. Um, Potom has 14 last hits versus Jugs 11, so pretty standard. Uh oh, top lane got a little bit of initiation. The stun comes out on Mag Mag trying to make his way out, and it ain't gonna happen. In mid lane, oh no! They're diving, sing, sing a thing, ping, he's in some trouble. Help me, kitty, he says. And the kitty, he helps. This is Hello Kitty 2017. He's fine. Look at that really, micro. Really, really nice oh, they're going back oh! in actually. This is. Oh. They still haven't killed the ward? No, oh kitty my don't, god, look at the value. Play. Kitty don't play. He's out of there. Oh, here comes the stun. Can it land? No. Ooh, that if really that did close. land, that would have been sexy. I don't think they, they would have done anything. Wouldn't though. have killed anybody. Yeah, there was no mana for spin. So really nicely done by Sing. Um, he gets dived a lot in the mid lane actually, just because Kaipi is very often rotating other lanes, but it stays alive. You're done. Waste I some time them. for your FNG, and uh, he's gonna be so upset with himself that he just commits suicide. Okay, good. That's what I would do. I hate my life. I missed the gank. I'm gonna just die to this giant centaur. There he goes. 
<laughs> okay, top by Max in trouble too yet real. again. Is that too real? <laughs> Sorry, Jesus. And boom! Goes this the shot should on guarantee the stomp. Doink. Yeah. That was yep. tough. You, you would have had a burrow strike, but he likely still would have been within range of the echo stomp. So very easy kill and Ooh. great rotations from Bambo there. Using a yep. haste on... Was that a haste? That was a haste, wasn't it? I don't know. Was he hasted? No, is he just fast as hell? He got quick little hooves, dude. He does look pretty fast. Yep. Anywho. Uh, Perch, I got so many questions. Can I ask you a few? So why is Zane uh, King still even up so there? What? Come on. Why is um, he, he could be experience. jungling. Screw free, it. Free experience, dude. Well, I mean, he, he can jungle, jungle but it's not uh -oh. super fast. Stun coming out in the mid lane. Sing Sing in a little bit of trouble. Could it be a bash? If he gets one bash, he'll be in good shape. No. No 17% today. Little Kitty comes out. Kitty comes out. Kitty got claws. Kitty's pissed. He's just going to heal him for now. No problem. Maybe could have killed Pi there. Would have forced some bottle charge or something. He must outplay this for sure. Ooh. I don't know why he didn't bottle up a bit earlier. Um, could have had spin ready to go to charge on the bot lane now. Uh oh, he's charging him. Here comes the moon cow. Uh, three in three really might be in trouble him. here. It could be a nice stun. Here it will go. Evan, Evan's taking a lot of damage though from the spire. He better not stand in it this whole time. Oh, not look at go. Evan, I told you. Oh you gotta listen, God. Evan. There he goes, he's out. Seema the Slayer really wants to finish this no, thing. He so does he have does five charges, but oh no! Sexy Bamboozle coming in with the wolves on FNG in trouble! One and a two, whoo, he's out of there. Seema still looking for this kill. He did have five charges on the stick. He now has enough mana. Oh, he needs one stun, but can he do it? Boom! Oh my god, he did it. Raindrop, Holy boys. Raindrop. And that's that's what that early advantage gives you. He's got wind lace, he had a full magic wand and the raindrop. He eats all of the nukes and anti mage goes down. A rare mistake from FN, but just really should have had that kill. Well kills the carry against three heroes. That was the only way the anti mage dies was trying to get the kill back. So so perfect yep. for three three. Alright, bone seven getting charged up at the top lane and co that's gonna be a that's gonna be the coward's way out. That's it. He's he's gonna so make the cow joker. The cowers way out. <laughs> you want to know a cow joke? Just what do you call himself. what do you call a cow that just gave birth? What? Decaffeinated. <laughs> oh. Pretty wow. good. Pretty good, Slex. <laughs> All right, nice, here we nice go. job, man. Good good help. Thank you. You made the cast better. All right. All right. Well, Juggernaut's gonna get himself a rune. Fill up that bottle. Now, what? He it it's so important, right? For Juggernaut to get a kill here. He just got his level six a while ago. He yeah. needs to ult. He needs yeah. to get rolling out of control. The important thing is that he keeps farming and he doesn't die too much. Um, Jug can always transition mid game due to Omni slash kills. He'll group up with his team heavily. It's the typical KP playstyle for Sing here. More of like tank a lot of ganks and eventually transition into using your skills to push towers and get a couple free kills. Yep. He's, he usually does a good job with that, so he doesn't have to use Omni immediately to get a kill. But I've, I'm pretty confident to be able to do it at some point. Yeah, Sing Sing playing very smart right now. He knows something's up. He's hiding out. Here comes the charge. Will he be able to spin in time? He will. The stun will come out, but if he can make it through the trees, he's fine. Meanwhile, in the bot lane, little stun coming out on FM. He is brought back. Will he be able to escape? The blink comes out. He does have four stacks. He's got so much stacks. Parts. The fire. Heal. Oh, and he Ooh, takes he got him still. Pretty good. Sexy Bambo now getting charged. He does have a stomp ready, so if he wanted to, he could stomp when this arrow is done. Three, two, one. Get the fuck out of here. And he's uh, not going to live anyway. Oh, he almost died in neutrals. That was so close. Was sick? Very small mistake by Bat. He could have used Fairy Fire, but I think he might have gotten stunned last second. And especially the AM ulti most likely did that. I, on the bright side, Bambo did get the experience for it. But I, I don't think KP cares or KP cares at all about losing two heroes in exchange for an AM. They got the gold, they got the experience, and AM's going to have his Battle Fury even more delayed. Whereas Bone 7 on the other side of the map is completely accelerating at normal speed. He's got Ooh. his helm with the Dominator already. His first creep is going over to start stacking. If they just keep AM behind and force these supports to constantly try to save him from dying, they're not going to be able to block the camp. The Bone 7 will get more stacks for that reason. Like, almost everything is going well for Kaipi right now. Yep, fantastic analysis, Purge. I have to agree. FN trying to do anything that it can here in this bottom lane against this Batrider who has already won the game, in case you forgot, with that uh, first blood and uh, those several survivable kills here. So he's going to get charged again. Here we go. It's going to be a bit, though. Let's take a look somewhere else on the map. Pimp, show me a random place. That looks a very good place. We got plenty of time, Pimp. Show me another one. What do we got, buddy? Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm serious. <laughs> Don't go back. Don't go back yet. Wait for the charge to start. And hey, wait, cancel, dude. <laughs> oh, shit. Back to the action. Here we go. Sing Sing with the invis is going to try to get a solo here. This is going to be a hard one. He doesn't quite have the full damage. 
to finish him before, and there's the deal where he spotted that. That's pretty nice. But he can easily charge out. Charge coming bot. No, he cancelled. Oh, this is nope. the time. Oh, no. Oh. Okay, TP. Oh. It's all good. If Sting could have chased that and Omni Slash during the TP, he would have had it. But just too easy cow to get out. Yeah, indeed. All right, Iceberg. Ooh, he's going to leap away. And I don't know, man. I, I thought that was the whole point of mid Juggernaut. You're telling me that he's going to be okay without getting that instant level 6 kill. It's not it's just about the 6. It's about having a semi-carry or a carry who's hard to kill. Oh, initiation down on 33. He is stunned up, and here comes the... So, number 2, number 3, here comes number 4. Great, oh, Flame Break. What? what happened? Flame Break the Spirit Breaker. He canceled oh. his stun. Oh, Jesus. If he didn't do that, he was dead, though. Really Absolutely. nice reaction, though. Same, well done same. by Bambo as well. Very good. All right, TP oh, coming in in the middle. Mr. Kitty, Mr. Cat's got some work that he has to do to heal him up. He is getting charged. This could be very bad. Heal up with the... Oh, nice TP. That's something we, we, you're not going to see. We don't talk about Mr. Cat here, dude. This is wrong tournament. That is not the name. That is what I, I, I know named the cat. I know cat. it's scarred into your brain and stuff, but... Uh... <laughs> what do you want to call the cat this game, then? If we're not calling him Mr. Cat. Uh, could we call it Healing Ward? No. Purge. That's that's well, like what you would name your kids. Hello, this okay. is my name is Purge. This is my child. He is called child number one. He is a beautiful boy. This is my little girl. She is called woman. One day. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't say child two. <laughs> or boy one, girl two. It would make girl one. Would make well, this is my third son. I call him failure. <laughs> he killed you gotta his mother. Gotta be consistent in your naming schemes, otherwise it gets confusing, man. <laughs> That is true. Going That's for the anti mage. Kill. Oh, anti mage, get out of there, pal. He's all right. Ooh. I think if they channeled fortunes in there, they could have killed Am. Oh, he's actually quite tanky. Eleven hundred. Without a blink on bat, it's not time yet. They've got to mm. coordinate the two things. So if you waste Omni Slash, you're kind of really limiting what Jug is picked for. Using Omni Slash as soon as you hit six. Just kidding. That's not it. He just didn't want to get ganked. Okay. It's hard to gank it, Jug. Hey, speaking of things that. I have no transition. Sven just took the okay. fucking. He took the big camp. He's got a lot of money. 15. Sven collected creeps. Yes. He trans. Oh, good one, Perch. All right. So he's got a lot of cash coming out now. You're Sven in this game. Talk to me about items, Perch. What does he get next? What, blink dagger early blink? is is really needed. Um, uh oh, shut up, Perch. Here we go. Initiation. Oh, just kidding. There. Oh, could it be the turnaround? Nope. No bedtime for me, but he could easily get grabbed here by Bat Rider. He is level six. He's got the lasso. He doesn't even need to use it. He's gonna burn him down. Send him straight to hill. Goodbye. Meanwhile, nope. on the bottom lane, Sing Sing trying to take that tower. Here we go. Initiation though on Sing Sing. Oh no, it's the kitty. He does not. Only the kitty lives to tell the tale. There he goes. Pretty huge mistake there by Sing Sing. Wasn't anticipating the Venge TP, but. FNG could have lived as well if he would have committed the charge to finish on Bambo. He wouldn't have been able to get the to zone him from the stomp. If I'm ba bone seven this game though, I'm just gonna get a blank dagger as fast as possible because I want to counter the mobility that Vega has an advantage over me with, and this allows him to easily solo kill anti mage or easily double kill actually or kill it with two heroes. If he just has any other hero helping him, him plus one hero can definitely kill AM. Hmm. He's gonna keep stacking. He's got a lot of stacks. He's already cleared a stack and it's only 12 minutes in, and the next stack is already being created. He's at full efficiency here, and that really comes down to the space that Batrider and Bambo created this game. Oh, They're really full. winning it for their team. There we go. Full efficiency. That's going to make for a hard perch. Oh, no. In the middle. Of, oh, mid lane. High light die. In a little bit of trouble. He's okay. He's going to dodge that arrow. He's going to maybe just stick around here. And yeah. Sven is... Woo! Here we go. If SB was 6, they could have killed him, but Pi knows that almost all of the damage on Vega is magic. He just casts, casts, casts Fate's Edict on himself. Takes no magic damage. Indeed. And well, indeed. I'm pretty worried about uh, Andy Mage here, Purge. You were telling me his stuff got delayed. I'm. It's been pretty goddamn Dude. delayed, all right? When's, when's the <laughs> last time you saw an Andy Mage behind him farm with a Marana? Like, that's ancient times, right? Ancient times. We're talking Dota that even, 1 here. Does that even count? Marana was never even picked. But actually, she was picked in Dota 1 a lot, but... Sure was, Purge. For all the right. sake of an argument... I'm gonna let Slacks talk. Might be a mistake, but go ahead. Oh, top lane, we're seeing a little bit of action here. An arrow flies, but he does not die. Here comes the charge here. Sing Sing could easily walk away from this, and he will. Almost nonchalant, I would say. Yeah, they didn't know he didn't have Blade Fury, so... But if they would have charged early to test it out, it might have worked. They're just not coordinating their stuff well. It's not the same as some of their other lineups. Yeah. Blink is ready on Mag, though, so they can take fights. Just they're not landing the disables like they need to. All right, Dog's charge been coming out on. Only killed once. Where's this charge going? Probably a creep. Illusion. Oh no! Oh god, he got him. Good job. 
Animate's coming. Oh no, Animate picked oh, up again. So dead. Oh, this is so bad. Here we go. Another. Oh my god, this is so bad. They went straight on Spirit Breaker as well. My god. I'm not even being able to talk because it's so bad, Purge. Everything's bad. <laughs> <laughs> including your the speech casting. skills. casting! <laughs> Real bad! Alright, here we go! Uh, we'll try to see what they nice can find here. Egg. Could get a nice little stomp. He did maybe be able to get him. No. He got I the like creeps. the, uh, how panicked those those uh, pings were over there. You know? It's like everybody yep. on Kaipi saw that there was a hero there, and they all pinged for it. <laughs> Pretty cool. Good for them. Yes, Radiant what teamwork. Down. I Kaipi's, mean, that is... They're owning it right now, though. Oh, yeah. This got is a little not cat even down, they're pushing the tower. Same builds as usual. Sing Sing's gonna go for the drum. And they're ready to back him up. Pilot Eyes level 8. He's got all the items he needs. Everybody on Kaipi is doing extremely well this game. Yeah, it's it's really not looking good. When the cat is, uh, he's just sitting there chilling, waving goodbye to this match, buddy. Not very good. Anyway, so what does Vega do to get back into this match, Purge? How do they win all this one? kills. They got Blink Dagger on Sanking. They need to epicenter somebody. Okay. And blow him up. Ideally, Jug. Um, Sven would be fantastic, but he's a hard kill. Whoa! Especially with Pilot Eye sitting here. And oh, this is gonna be it. I mean, Epicenter into Blink. Here we go. Oh, they found Mag. Oh no! They saw him! Get out of there, boys! You know, he just lived because of Raindrop, actually. Because the Raindrop appeared on the Spirit damage, which allowed him to Blink. Uh -oh. Raindrop there. Iceberg in trouble. He could be grabbed here. He will be grabbed. They're gonna be charging the Batrider, and it is not gonna be good. He gotta cancel that charge. And this is horrible. I mean, if. Phone 7 has the, had the complete opposite game of Annie Mage. Zero pressure, free farm, and everything he wants to do. And that is the worst situation for the part. Kitty on the cliff, Bart! Kitty on the cliff! He's waving, he's like, hey guys, I'm up. No, a really bad joke. Let's move on. Okay. Um, Kaipi is just playing everything. They're constantly ahead of everything that Vega wants to do. All the good things that Vega is trying to do, Kaipi is anticipating them. They're moving the heroes to the right position. And that is why they're absolutely stomping this game. On the back of an amazing laning performance from 3-3. And some good roaming from from uh, Bambo. But yeah, oh, yeah, like you said, Bone7 gets to do whatever he wants. He's way ahead in farm. He is a good solution against anti-mage. They've got all the tools they need. And it's really hard for Vega to take a fight due to the Oracle and Sing Sing with the healing ward. Oh, How do they win, it. man? They've got to take a fight, though, and they've got to get kills. That's the only way they do this. Absolutely. I mean, AM is not coming back for quite some time. Uh, he still doesn't have a Battle Fury. 16 minutes! What is this? One of my games? Get it He's together. kind of catching up. He's almost got it. It's a three, maybe four minutes late, but... The problem is that by the time he finishes his Battle Fury, Sven's getting close to either a Daedalus or an Echo Saber plus item. Mm-hmm. I thought Ooh. you were going to say more. No, that's but, it. Okay. Daedalus, or Echo Saber plus one, it could be like a BKB, he could go Daedalus after the, the Echo Saber. I don't even think, he does need a BKB very much. So. Okay. He, who knows, Kaipi could throw this. Bigger games have been thrown by not buying BKBs. Indeed. It's that okay. one, that good game. You don't. You didn't have to call it out. You made the reference. <laughs> I just know you didn't watch the game, so it, you know, oh, I'm trying to God. help you out. Please like they, don't... they literally were gonna win, but they threw it because they didn't buy a BKB. That's literally. That's why. It, that's why that situation was so awkward. Yeah. Well, hopefully we uh, are on the winner's bus for this game. As initiation goes on Mag right there, he's gonna try to stun out, but it ain't gonna happen for Mag yet again. Another death. That sand king. More like a Sam Prince, huh? Cause <laughs> oh, Ooh, the first arrow. connected they can... arrow on Bone Seven, and they are pissed. They throw oh, they got the lasso to follow up too. Oh shit, this is really Seven's not so good. Mad. Oh my god, he's that, he's pissed. You dare touch me for the first time in this game? Die! There he goes. Down at the bottom lane, however, Invisible Sing Sing chasing the FN uh, with zero care in the world. He's waiting for his teammates. This is what makes a pro player. He waits. There you go, FN. He's probably gonna blink out in three, two, one. Oh, oh yeah, the right in the danger. What have you done? <laughs> That's a, that's a that's a slacks play right there actually. Uh, shut up, Purge. <laughs> Here we go. They're they're so far ahead. Bone Seven could just buy BKB now if he wants to play ultra safe, and I I think he could justify it considering their position in this game. Just go BKB first. Keep farming. Keep accelerating. They like uh, and they're dire. Jesus Christ. Which means they can take. I, I thought you were gonna take that one from me, but no, no, no. They don't have Slardar. They can't easily take Roche this game. Confusing. Oh, oh the blink, blink dodge. dodge! Oh, and that swap! What are you doing? Seema the Slayer in trouble! He's out! The plays! Kaipi has no mercy! 15 to 3! 
Oh no! This guy is a good bat rider. He is a really good bat rider. No wonder they've been banning it. I was about to. I wanted to ask you that. They've been banning like crazy. Now we know why. Don't let this kid get bat, or it will be the last it's, mistake you ever it's make. It's good. This is not. From my memory, this is not his his first amazing bat performance. Okay, Ooh. Sven, going a little different this game. Going for an S and Y. You could look at this as a little greedy, but it will help him from getting kited in some of the team fights. Arguably, Echo Saber does similar things, but there's better longevity into Sanjin Yasha. So, just stopping away from Echo Saber, adding 2,000 gold to gain SNY instead, I think is pretty justified. But he has to get BKB next. I think that's really the only way that Kaipi loses this match, unless there's some crazy wombo combos, is that they just never buy BKBs, and Vega uses the stuns to control the fights. I mean, the match is not over, Perch. A meteorite could land on the house of Sing Sing. Anything could happen. There we go. Bone seven, he's in biz. Oh sh! Oh my God! Run! Everyone, run for your lives! Oh, Echo! Oh, there we go. At least they got that. I mean, he's definitely gonna not die. Oh, oh God! Okay, this. Very oh, Iceberg in trouble! Oh God, he's dead too. This is not good. Everybody, everybody dead. That's Cassie. two important heroes. That is not good. Okay, Someone mid lane. However, killed. this Four could seconds. be. Nope. Four staff away. There we go. Bat Rider. Don't give a hoot. He's letting them out. They, they can't. I mean, aims in the area. They would love this, to go on that, but they're just so underfarmed. That's a goddamn Constantly. massacre, Purge. It this really is, just is not good. Hypey's laning has been consistently throughout this tournament better than other teams. Yep. And maybe that's just because Pilot Eye is playing with these guys this week. I assume he's still on secret. Maybe is planning to go to WCA with them when it eventually comes up. Not sure, but interesting. Maybe well, a bit of a a question. Is a it question. Fair? I don't know. I don't care, it's great Dota, man. It actually is such good Dota. That's what we care about here. Rules, stipulations, doesn't matter to us. We want to see good Dota, we want to see brutal murder. And that's what we're getting out of this game. 13, or 17 to 3, excuse me. As uh, just an annihilation from Kai P. Yeah, it is. I feel bad for Mag not able to kill the Oracle there, but you know, they have so much advantage. Just things like simple levels make it harder for Sand King to get those crucial support kills, even if the epicenter was good. Yep. If you're behind us, the Sand King... Even harder. What do you even do? I mean, you're relying all on burst damage. If your burst doesn't kill anything, you do nothing. Except this for make sand. Exactly what Vega's doing right now is what they have to do. Wait for a hero, and they have to use all of their resources to kill that one hero. Because if they find Sven right now or something like that, it could completely turn the game around. Give all of their heroes one or two levels. They've got the stuns. They've always had the stuns this game. It's just the laning has not been coordinated enough. You can solve that problem by having so many stuns that one hero can't handle it, though. Uh-oh. FN is... Oh god! Get out of there, FN! Woo! Barely makes it out. Oh no, he's gonna get grabbed! And there he is. Here comes the arrow, though. It will miss everybody. They're just gonna be able to clean this up effortlessly. And a nice purge there as well, saving their okay. Batrider for a little bit. Nice at the center, though. The damage is coming out, but here comes Big Daddy Sven. And he's got the beaten stick. He's ready to teach a lesson. Four staff ain't gonna help you here, because uh, actually, he's gonna do great. Good job. You're, you're gonna make it. Flame Brick's gonna, gonna miss. He doesn't have leap for six. It's a great hiding spot, though. And they actually do keep the Batrider alive. Really clutch Oracle ult by Pilot Eye prevents that death. And they did lose Bambo, though. Who? They got Bambo? something. That yeah, doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Bambo is just a support. 442 gold eh. for one of the lesser farmed heroes. Nothing weird about that. Not really. All right, boys. We got to do something here. Any mage has got to come back. We're going to deny the middle tower. Middle Not tower. very good. <laughs> one Not... advantage gain. <laughs> oh, that's an advantage? Gold denied, it's, and look they, at this gigantic stack going down. Oh, they have, they have limited no. their opponent's potential to, to collect gold in the future. That's Got him! Fucking destroyed, you scrums! <laughs> okay, well... Uh, Sand King going for a reveal. It's one good way to buff up their damage for a pretty low cost, but... Again, they've got to get those kills. It Jesus. all comes down to the kills. Bone7 has enough for his BKB now, if he so wishes. This or will just... he allow the throw? Yes! Uh, the throw! No, that's a BKB. Ooh, this is like watching my grandma at hospice, man. I mean, it, it's gonna happen any moment now. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> man, that was, ooh. Here comes a fight. They could go Bambo. Fight. Here we go, sexy Bambo. Oh! Yul Scepter says no to everything you have. Oh, it's Daddy Spin. And here comes oh, the Marmot Oh, God, the humanity. Ron Seema. Ooh. It's okay, they still got Animage. He's, he's farming. Here he comes. He's gonna be huge. 
It is a 60 more minutes, guys. I don't know, man. It's a bad sign when your anti mage with Battle Fury is behind in front of the Juggernaut. Didn't go Battle Fury. Oh. I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Oh. He can't even like look. He can't even like comfortably split push because he knows that if Batrider plus any other hero is there, he just dies. You know, I don't this think they care. Is huge. <laughs> just gonna, really? He's gonna go into the jungle. He's just forget about it. Uh, they're gonna take a free Rax here, most likely. Everybody's going back in about 10 seconds, though. They might have to be. They could get lucky. Probably just a free tower and then B. And it's going down. Good night, tower. Oh, yeah, they're gonna commit perch. This is it. They want blood. Uh, this they don't smoke. Give they them... definitely saw this, too. Yep, there we go. Sexy Bambo, one of the best. Oh, no! This castle! Oh, Seamless Lair with a great ult there, and we could be seeing a complete destruction! Nice! That stun comes out, though. Sven, where are you? He's a little far away from everybody, trying to catch up here. Sven putting the power on the tower, okay. but he's gonna go back to the rest. That cost ultimate. him a lot. Epi Sunny yep. used two. Nice stun by Mag, and the arrow comes out. Could we see something here? No, sir! This, oh, the charge! This could be great! Pylai die in trouble! They're gonna get standing! Can they get more? This is exactly what they need! Bone is, it? is completely alone! Get Bone! Oh, Sing Sing in trouble! This is it, come on, baby, come on! FNG, they're baiting it out! They're gonna get Sing Sing most likely! Here comes the bash! Here comes the death! But the sleepy time! Oh no! Come on, boys! Get the spin! Ben's ult is lasting apparently unlimited time here as he is just going ham trying to kill Mag and oh, oh, can't force off after off the map there. Iceberg now in trouble as well, stunned up, waiting for Bone 7 to come in. They don't have mana, it don't matter. Her leap is in one second. Goodbye, she says. Our it's new trolls. Go! Okay. Very good. Well, they that was a really good fight for Vega there. They got a ton of net worth out of that one. You can really see it creeping in on the net worth graph, but. Still not quite as good as they wanted it to be. If they could have also picked off the Sven in that circumstance, it would have been great. Didn't kill the Jug fast enough. They had to use their charge to deal with Jug rather than guaranteeing the Sven kill. And they just ran out of mana quite tight endlessly. This Sven has $4,000 at 25 minutes and a blink and a BKB. Oh, God. He's doing okay. The scary He's part doing all is. Right. The, the problem is that Kaipi is so far ahead that they're allowed to get Yule Scepters instead of BKBs because they know that if they just disjoint like one or two stuns max and that already is most of the tools that Vega is using to try to win the game. So despite Bambo dying in that fight, it still did require a lot of focus to go on him. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm racking my brain to figure out how this, how this game can turn around here. Just, you just kill him, that's it. That, that's not clearly not gonna happen. Iceberg in trouble uh, as well as he's taken. He's just instantly killed. That's it. So don't Ooh. do that if you want to win the game, uh, for sure. Yeah, don't don't die. That's... Don't die. <laughs> uh, Bone seven going for the moon shard too. Doesn't even doesn't even go for AC. It's pretty worth it. There's not that much damage on the enemy team. They're gonna go now straight for Roshan. Real Whoa. fast. Oh god. Oh god. How are they gonna beat this purge? Um, they just have to make sure they don't stand next to each other and get great cleaved. Right. Piece of cake. Well, you know, if you're looking for an underdog story, we got one for you here. Vegas Squad has got to have a miracle. And a miracle they might get! Bolt 7. He's, he doesn't even want the ace. He doesn't even he want give a hoop. Is this... Oh, Barret, okay. Uh, I, th I think that makes sense, yeah. Does that make sense? Why? They... Oh, the way that 3-3 plays team fights, it's not just about lassoing, it's also about damage. He's really effective at seeming like a it's like a carry bat rider in the way the way that we play some team fights he always ekes out kills not just about the initiation it's one of the best things about him as a player by far at least All a right. rider player yeah everybody else he sucks on. <laughs> <laughs> okay boys and girls we're gonna top lane push let's check in with the turtle how's he been doing remember him did he did he did he win his gank was his gank successful i don't remember i think i don't see any koi fish who knows? We'll check in with Turtle later. Let's talk about this smoke gank. Oh, there he is! He's fine! He survived! The, the koi fish are all dead. So he did fine. Uh, smoke gank coming in here. Uh, will they be able to see Mag? Mag is gonna walk right up into the wrong neighborhood! Here we go! And they're putting everything on Mag. I don't know why, but goodbye. It's, it's a free kill. They probably don't have buyback because they're behind. And now they get to do a 5v4. Okay. Really fast reaction time again by 3-3. Three, three. This guy's clearly justified to be on this team. Yep. He's a really big, really stand-up player. He's been playing fantastic. And here comes the old. Uh, look at that tower purge! Oh god, he doesn't even have time to write his will. He's dead. No one will ever remember. Uh oh. 
Bambo trying to get on Iceberg down in the back as well, but the Rax is going down. He's just going to leave him asleep. He's just going to leave him asleep and dance. Oh, God. Oh, no. Iceberg in trouble. He's got to make his way out. Where's Al Gore? Somebody help this Iceberg, please. Oh, no. No, I meant... Oh, God. Get out of there, buddy. Does have leap in two. Woo! He's okay. To die. Close your eyes, everyone. Don't don't watch this. Don't look. If there's any children watching Twitch chat now, and now is a good time to leave before the brutal death and murder. This cast is about to be PG-13 to a rated R. I am going for AC this game. Cool choice. Uh, very good against Sven when Sven's ahead. He normally you'd say I'm gonna get a butterfly against this, but and so far ahead that he could probably spend five minutes to win a fight or two and by by a MKB instantly. But he can't really play against AC survivability. Not to mention the added bonus of hit his team. I actually really like the choice here for FN. Very out of the box thinking, but very effective. Indeed. Now they just have to win the fight, that's all. Yes! No biggie, they do have a buyback of Marana, so that is one thing. <laughs> that's cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, they're gonna catch Sven. one. Oh, here we go. FN, he's gotta try to make his way out. Seema the Slayer gonna try to sacrifice herself to save him. She's definitely going down, but... Oh, no. Marana's Played back. worked. Uh, this tower's gonna say bye bye. Oh, wait, an arrow! Marana comes back and forth! Here's the epicenter! He does up! There he goes! He barely got it! He got the last proc on epicenter, and now Bone 7 murders everyone! Oh, all together, the Omni Slash damage is huge! Oh, no. And I think this is gonna be the last barracks here. No, they're gonna, they're gonna wait. They're gonna. Okay. Oh, here we go! There we go! Mag, could he do something here? They've got every. No. No, this is. This ain't, good, this ain't a good Disney spell story. That's it. Good game is called, and Kaipi are going to be your victors. Amazingly close series, considering the fact that Kaipi was able to 2-0 Vega in the winner's bracket earlier, but Ooh. they have proven themselves to be the better team. I cannot wait to see how Kaipi does in the future. Um, I, I Again, I don't know if Pilot Eye is sticking around with these guys or if they're going to grab a different support, but I really like Kaipi right now. This lineup has 